Have you noticed the face? Look at that. Oh. The lines are disappearing on Shepard's face. That's true. Because... You can still see a little bit in the beard, but uh. No, yeah. no, no. Look, look. There's right there. Just a little sliver of Paragon into the third bracket. That's oh. why. That's why. Yeah. We just barely managed to get into the third bracket here, which I think unlocks like a, a fair number of things hmm. for like dialogue options. I mean, I see. So, uh, what we have planned for today is uh, we're going to the planet Ilium after we do some uh, cleanup for Tuchanka because I accidentally forgot we had a couple of uh, side quests that we had completed. So I just need to go turn those in, and then we can head over to uh, an Asari city planet. Okay. The, the whole planet is a city. Oh. Also, Morton! Guess who got a different appearance? Bam! Hey, looking clean. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't think it matters, so you and you. Sure, why not? Why not? I'm bringing Garrus to Chichanka. I realize what this means. Clan Erdnaught has increased in strength after the destruction of Clan Werelock. Based on population profiles, Clan Erdnaught has adopted surviving members of Clan Werelock, mostly women and children. Ah, oh. intelligent move. Surprising from Krogan. Glad to see it. I just wish. I'm glad to see it. Things could be different. Nope, not this way. Let's see where. Yeah, over here. You know what time it is. It's time to oh, talk yeah, to my ben, favorite Krogan it's... mechanic. Oh yes. Don't touch anything. Cause you picked up that if thing. You're gonna stand there, make yourself useful. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything until I build a replacement manifold for this damn Tomka. I found a combustion manifold out in the field. About is this that. what you need? That'll work. Faster than building one from scratch, at least. You just saved me three days' work, human. You've earned my time if you want it. What's that you're working on there? I'm tuning up these machines for battle. It's a wonder this Tomka here made it back to camp. It could be worse. A couple more hits on the broadside, and this thing would have crumbled. Krogan plays so much importance on martial strength. How did you become a mechanic? How do you think those fools make it to the field to kill each other? Who do you think keeps the weapons working? Without me, there's no battle, just slaughter. I am the military might of Clan Erdnaught. That is oh. pride right there. I like it. How do you feel about what Rex is trying to do? The old man's crazy if you ask me, which you just did. But that stuff fixes itself. If it doesn't work, Rex gets torn to shreds and we find out who's got the next best plan. So, I don't know if you actually recognize that accent, but... This is a New Yorker Krogan. <laughs> I see. Oh, I love it. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. <sighs> and 40 experience. But it's have been a blood the experience was listening to was oh, God. Talk. I agree. That was At good. first I thought it was a waste of ammunition just to kill incoming vermin. Now I think if these Erdnaught can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming invasion force. Wow. <laughs> huh. My scout made it back. We've got him at the tent. Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. Talk to you later. <laughs> yep. Sick. Ignore them. That's it. Bro. They're not worth the effort. All right, now I can go to Ilium. I see. Here we go. Oh. Ah, oh, this game is so pretty. <laughs> Look at that. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Every single time, man, I will always <laughs> say it. This game was way ahead of its time. And now what we are about heck? to meet the politest person Probably ever. Oh. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name oh. is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. 
That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you would normally incur. Oh, Liara. She also mm -hmm. asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Yeah, I oh. wasn't. I wasn't talking about this lady. Oh! You said Liara was here? What's she doing? <laughs> Liara is one of Nosostra's most respected information brokers. Oh my gosh. Nosostra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a second. Just go ahead. My girl! Yes! <laughs> Oh, I yeah. swear, I, I swear, when I get the um the remake for this, I'm romancing Liara. Yeah, she's a pretty popular option. Hmm. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? I happy. It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract mm. term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's oh. a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. Yeah, yeah, this is legal hell. Uh huh. Let's see. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Oh. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as oh, a Terminus like systems port, We've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe like an Asari said, world would allow slavery. Like that. We try to avoid calling it slavery. Hmm. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract awesome. holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants. And a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Huh. Yeah, it's like that. I I, I called it. I was like, wow. <laughs> when she said anything, I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. It's like that. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid uh. I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Okay, fine. I'll go Again, see my girlfriend. welcome to our <laughs> Please enjoy your stay. It's been a long time, by the way, so... Customs things records indicated different. Justicar Nick oh. Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. A Batarian group has announced plans to sue the Citadel Council. The Batarians claim that slavery... So she's the Justicar then, isn't she? Hmm? Not saying anything. Alright, no. let's look at this. Just look at this. Wow. Look at all that. Such a beautiful city. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And think about it, we're gonna get updated graphics. Oh yeah! It's gonna be insane, dude. Right, we're we're just gonna like start crying. To say here. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this huh. place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. Hmm. Wow. And that's the ex cop talking. Wow. Uh huh. I figured he would know. 25. Cell at 25. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it. And they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Hmm. Mm hmm Interesting. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? You're Commander mm -hmm. Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. Okay. Or, okay. Do you remember Novaria? No. That's the ice planet. Oh. I met a oh. lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? 
I believe the message itself should make it clear. Okay. Shepherd, we hide, we borrow, we build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepherd. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. The bugs. Oh, I hate it. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, oh, and I was forced down on an uncharted them. planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. Wow. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind oh. me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated, as they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Wow. Imagine if they were. Hmm. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking huh. away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I mm. saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Mm. Hey, just because they're bugs don't mean they don't have beautiful souls. Mm. <laughs> Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. Mm. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. That's yeah. suspicious. Why? Why? Why is it so suspicious, huh? Because they're bugs. <laughs> oh, they're bugs! Oh, come on! The Hogan are a bigger threat than they are right now. I know, but I love them, okay? <laughs> I love both equally, I'm just saying. I know, I know. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? Interesting, though. That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni war? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people mm. aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. <sighs> Thank you for giving me okay. that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. <laughs>